Grenades and explosives found inside a Cobb County home. Fire, police and the bomb squad raced the home. New at 11 tonight, Fox 5's Denise Dillon tells us that these were military grade explosives. We're not talking about one or two explosives. We're talking about a collection. Police say the bomb squad was called out to a home on this street twice in one week. A crew with up, up and away junk hauling was cleaning out this house in Cobb County when they made a startling discovery. They start finding things that look like uh, practice um, grenade launcher rounds and then they start finding ones that they're not sure if they're real or not. And then in the very next drawer is a hand grenade and that's where they have that switch flips of, oh my goodness, we need to get out of here. Hand grenades and other explosives. They called police. And within minutes, the fire department, police, and the bomb squad pulled up. Uh, there were some hand grenades, or what we generally consider hand grenades, and other explosive devices as well. If it appears to be live or possibly live, we're going to treat it as if it is. The home had belonged to a military veteran who had passed away. Police say inside, they found several unexploded ordnance pieces dating back more than 50 years. Come to find out this was actually possibly from the Korean War era. The crew from Up, Up and Away junk hauling went back a few days later to finish the job and got another shock. And we got about a half load through uh, before we found another mortar and an ammunition can full of grenades. Police came out again and picked up what they hope is the last of the items. We've seen a lot of crazy stuff. You know, I mean, we move almost 2 million pounds of junk a year. So we find a lot of stuff in these uh, home cleanouts. Uh, grenades is a brand new one. We're, we're just excited that nobody got hurt. Cobb County Police Sergeant Wayne Delk says there was a similar situation where explosives were found in a house a couple of years ago, but he says calls like this are few and far between. In Cobb County, Denise Stillen, Fox 5 News.